And um, Sydney is my daughter. So I can't <laughs> say. Brett, um, who just broke his nose two days ago, but looks fantastic, um, is still being baptized. Look, Brett, it's quite a hit. And uh, Brett is my nephew, and then my oldest daughter, Jordan. And they are being baptized today, and uh, I cannot tell you what a thrill that is. Um, but they each have a story to tell you how God has, has uh, introduced himself to them. It's all that they're doing. I grew up in a Christian family with two family members being pastors. One night before Easter Day, I asked my mom to tell me the Easter story, which is about Jesus dying on Good Friday and being resurrected on Easter Sunday. It is cool because he didn't just die, but he died for me. Then she told me about asking Jesus into my heart. I was so interested that I told my mom I wanted to do it that night. Being so happy about my choice that night, I have lived the rest of my life knowing there is an awesome reward for me in heaven, eternal life. That is why I would like to be baptized, to show that I am a follower of Christ. When I was little, my parents introduced me to Christ. They would take me to church and tell me about Jesus. When I was about seven, six years old, I was ready to accept him as my savior. My mom talked to me about Christ, and then she prayed with me to accept him into my life. I've loved being a Christian ever since. Christ has helped me through tough times, and I can depend on him. <coughs> Today I'm getting baptized to show that I believe in Christ, and I will follow him the rest of my life. I'm Seth, and I've been sober for 11 years. <laughs> I asked Jesus into my heart when I was seven, when I was seven years old with my mom in her bedroom. I want to show people that I'll always be a follower of Jesus Christ. That I'll teach others what to do in confusing situations and remind them what to what would Jesus do. And I also want to get out time because I want to show that God is on my side. When you go to heaven, you get one special prize that you can't get on earth: eternal life. Hi, my parents introduced me to the Lord when I was very young. They took me to church every Sunday where I heard all the Bible stories. One summer when I was seven years old, we went to Ohio for about a month. At my grandparents' church, there was a ministry called Backyard Bible School, so we went to it. The main story of the week was salvation and how Jesus died on the cross to save everyone, including me. After the Bible school was over, I started thinking about asking Jesus into my heart. One day, I was in the car with my mom coming home from the post office. I told her that I wanted to have Jesus in my heart. She pulled the car over and she prayed with me. I remember being so excited to tell everyone what I had done. Ever since then, I have loved and trusted God with all my heart. Today, I'm getting baptized to show that I am a follower of Christ and that I will be all my life. Sober for a be like 30, 40, 50, then you got something to talk about. Uh, and then, uh, like, an, thank you guys, that was wonderful. And then, like, another bigger grown up son of mine <laughs> is a very dear friend of mine, David. So, David, I'd like you to come forward. I thought you were going to excuse the kids before I speak. I don't think they want to be here. <laughs> Can I borrow yours? <laughs> 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 